The Book, Title, Relativistic and Non-Relativistic Quantum Mechanics, Vote at Once, Autors, Luis Grave de Peralta, Gira Farouk, Marisela Fernández Lozada, Gage Eichmann, Abhijek Sain, and Gabriel Prime. Publisher, Springer Nature in the Book Series, Undergraduate Lecture Notice in Physics. Topics included in the book. Here you have a, a, the content of the book. Next, we present a brief, a brief summary of the topics included in the book. Preamble. This book is a first attempt of introducing relativistic quantum mechanics to interest learners with no previous knowledge of quantum mechanics. Currently, relativistic quantum mechanics is considered an advanced topic that is only accessible to students that have already received considerable training in non-relativistic quantum mechanics. However, the author believes to have found an excellent pedagogic approach for simultaneously introducing both topics of non-relativistic and relativistic quantum mechanics. This book is the result of the research that was first conducted in the fall of 2019. Ultimately, this work crystallized in the publication of the paper titled Did the Schrodinger Half of the Auctions by Grave de Peralta in European Journal of Physics, Making Relativistic Quantum Mechanics Simple by, L, by Grave de Peralta, Poveda and Poirier in European Journal of Physics, and a non-relativistic approach to relativistic quantum mechanics, the case of the harmonic oscillator by Grave de Peralta, Poveda, Pittman, and Poirier in Foundations of Physics. Recently, there have been another 11 papers published about this topic. Purposefully, we have avoided the, utiliz the utilization of the well-known Lorentz invariant equations. With that avoidance, we only refer to the Klein Gordon and Dirac equation for justifying the use of the Poveda, Poirier, Grave de Peralta equations. The PPGP equations are the equation this book is solely based on. Nevertheless, to steer clear of unnecessary complication in an introductory book, we sporadically refer to the well-known results obtained by using the Klein Gordon and Dirac equations. Chapter 1 and 2 provide a fast and traditional introduction to non-relativistic quantum mechanics. In Chapter 3, this book diverged from a traditional introduction to quantum mechanics. The first pro pro proposed idea of relativistic quantum mechanics are introduced for the background sense of what this book wants to ultimately pursue. This includes the introduction of the Schrodinger Lie, Poveda Poirier Grave de Peralta equation, and is used to solve simple one dimensional problems. Chapter 4 contains a novel an ambitious study of the consequences of special theory of relativity for quantum mechanics. This includes include the study of the relativistic harmonic oscillator and a pedagog pedagogical presentation of the claim paradox based on solving the Schrodinger Lie PPGP equations for step potential. More realistic three dimensional problems are solved in Chapter 5. The spin of the Pauli Lie PPGP equations are introduced in chapter, six, in chapter 6. The relativistic description of the hydrogen atom is presented and compared with experimental results. In addition, the rel relativistic description of spin S equal 0 and spin S equal 1 half particle moving in a column potential are compared. Chapter 7 provides a brief overview of the problem of how to describe a system with more than one quantum particle. This includes the application of the Pauli exclusion principle for describing atoms, a precise yet brief visit to a relativistic Fermi gas, and the discussion of the importance of including relativity for describing the, form the formation of black holes 
in cosmology. Most of the results that are presented in this book are widely known, results proposed and discovered by a multitude, multitude of physicists. However, we introduced some controversial but exciting topics in the last chapter. Only time I experiment will judge the validity of the idea discussed in chapter A. These topics were included for celebrating the first century of quantum mechanics, for illustrating that relativistic quantum mechanics remain an open field of research, and for emphasizing that the pleasure of discovery and the critical thinking skill should be systematically cultivated. Poveda, Poirier, Grave de Peralta equations. These are the equations on which this book is based, is based on. This is the Schrodinger Lie Poveda Poirier Grave de Peralta equation for a spin zero particle that is interacted with external potential. You look at this equation and you substitute mu by the mass of the particle. This is the well known Schrodinger equation studied in typical course of non relativistic quantum mechanics. However, mu is the effective relativistic mass of the particle that is given by the expression shown here. If mu is approximately equal to m, to m the mass of the particle, then the schrodinger lie poirier poveda gravede peralta equation coincides with the Schrodinger equation. There is a second poveda poirier gravede peralta equation that is, is the is, is the equation for particle with a spin one half. It are the Pauli Lie Poveda Poirier Grave de Peralta equation for a charged spin one half particle that is interacted with the external electromagnetic field. The expression is that shown here. Mu has the same expression that show above. And if mu is equal to m, this is the Pauli equation often studied in courses of non-relativistic quantum mechanics. Because these two poveda poirier grave de Peralta equations are formally similar to the equations used in non-relativistic quantum mechanics, this allows us to teach simultaneously non-relativistic and relativistic quantum mechanics. And S H the pedagogical value of the poveda poirier grave de Peralta equations. In traditional introductory quantum mechanic courses, students learn how to solve the Schrodinger and Pauli equations. We present in this book a pedagogical approach for simultaneously teaching non-relativistic and relativistic quantum mechanics. The presented approach only requires solving the Schrodinger-like and Pauli-like equations. The presented approach is then compatible with the approach often used for teaching non-relativistic quantum mechanics. Formally, there is a fundamental difference between the Schrodinger and Pauli equations and the corresponding Schrodinger-like and Pauli-like poveda poirier grave de Peralta equation. This is that m is a constant m, the mass of the particle, is a constant in the Schrodinger and Pauli equation, but mu is a local function on the position of the particle. This difference captures most of the consequences that the special theory of relativity brings to quantum mechanics. This difference is amazingly simple. This implicitly provides a pedagogical opportunity for simultaneously teaching non-relativistic and relativistic quantum mechanics. This book is one example of how we could simultaneously teach and learn non-relativistic and relativistic quantum mechanics in an introductory quantum mechanics course. The author of this book wish and expect that future, future books based on similar approaches could be much better. Annex I, the heuristic value of the poveda poirier grave de Peralta equations. There is a latent, latent tension between physics and mathematics. While mathematics is the language of physics, physics is not mathematics. There is some truth in the phrase, if you cannot explain a physical idea in layman terms, you still do not understand it. Too few mathematics may resolve 
in an imprecise physical theory. Too much mathematics may result in a physical theory that is at least unintelligible for many. Non-relativistic quantum mechanics may, may for some be a physical theory with too much mathematics. However, a century of teaching speed result in a clever way of disseminating the fundamental physics ideas included on it. What is quantum mechanics? A lay person could ask. Today, most physicists, chemists, and many engineers could answer in a comprehensible way to the lay person. There are no waves associated with a classical particle, but there is a wave associated with a quantum particle. Quantum mechanics is the physical theory that indicates how to calculate the wave function that describes how that wave is. Wave functions are solution of wave equations. A few mathematical skills are needed to solve for solving wave equations. If you are interested, there are available many pedagogical quantum mechanical textbooks. And what and what is this thing named relativistic quantum mechanics? A lay person could also ask. Well, probably you cannot handle my answer. An arrogant expert in quantum electrodynamics may say. However, a reader of this book may answer something like this. As I told you before, there are no waves associated with a classical particle. However, I should apologize to you for my previous response. I should have said that in the non-relativistic quantum mechanics theory, there is a wave associated with a quantum particle. However, non-relativistic quantum mechanics is only an approximate theory. This is because it is only valid in the, if the energy of the particle is very small. Relativistic quantum mechanics is the precise theory. It is valid for any particle energy. To be precise, there are two waves associated with a single quantum particle. Relativistic quantum mechanics is a physical theory that indicates how to calculate the wave function that describes how both waves are. Wave functions are solution of wave equation. A few mathematical skills are needed for solving wave equation. If you are interested, I know about a pedagogical book that allows you to simultaneously learn relativistic and non-relativistic quantum mechanics. This hypothetical dialogue illustrates the heuristic value of the pedagog pedagogical approach in which this book is based. A simple but still precise theoret theoretical approach may facilitate thinking about the physical meaning of the mathematics involved on it. Moreover, it may facilitate thinking about possible consequences of the theory. Chapter 8. Some consequences of relativity for quantum mechanics. In Chapter 8, several heuristic discussions are presented. They explore some hypothetical but far-reaching consequences due to the introduction of a special theory of relativity in quantum mechanics. The relative simplicity of the poveda poirier gravede peralta equation facilitates the use of some interesting heuristic semi-quantitative semi arguments. This heuristic discussion allows with the filling of some notable holes in the existing quantum mechanics theory. Nevertheless, there is a latent tension between physics and mathematics. While mathematics is the language of physics, physics is not mathematics. Too much mathematic, mathematic may result in a physical theory that is at least unintelligible for many. However, too few mathematics may result in a precise physical theory. This means that the heuristic funding presented in Chapter A should be received with both justified enthusiasm and acceptances. This is how science progresses from enthusiastic acceptances to careful proof or of this proof of interesting hypothesis. Chapter A was designed for developing the critical thinking abilities of the readers and for introducing them to the pleasure of discovery that every science lover should feel. 
we expect to have achieved our goal. The authors encourage you to watch the introductory level video titled Why Are We Not Surrounded by Antimatter? Thank you very, very much.